What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this John Deere riding mower and the problem is that it runs but only when it's mostly choked and the engine will die if it's taken out of choke. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we try and repair this mower, however it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. So this riding mower is in rough shape. It needs rear tires and the seat is beginning to crack. However, the deck still works fine. The steering is tight, the engine runs very well, and the transmission works like it's supposed to. In my opinion, even though this thing is old, it's not worn out and still worth fixing. So the problem is the carburetor and it's not running unless it's choked. If you move the choke to anything else, the engine will die. Now more than likely, there's a problem with the jet on the carburetor, but the problem is I've already tried cleaning the carb and clearing the jet, and the problem is still there. At this point, my advice to most people is to just replace the carb, so that's what we're going to do. Before I replace it, I want to do a test run to show you exactly what it's doing. Also, remember to check the oil on your rider before you start it. I also need to add some gas as I plan on mowing after filming. Now, the rider will still mow with the carburetor mostly choked, but the engine doesn't have a lot of power, though. Now, since I run this engine out of gas after every use, and because I don't want to drain the battery, I'm going to prime the carburetor with gas so it'll start up quickly. Now, since there's gas in the carburetor's throat, I'll also take it out of choke, but more than likely I'll have to move it back up to choke once it starts. So as you just saw, after getting it started, the carburetor had to be somewhat choked to keep the engine from dying. But if I wanted to use the blades and actually mow with it, I had to move the choke lever slightly out of choke but not into the run position. Otherwise, I wouldn't have enough air getting into the engine for me to actually mow with. Now after confirming that it is a carburetor issue, I'm going to find the ID tag on this mower and reference the model number to find the right carb and order it. And as you can see, I was still able to finish mowing before the rain really started to come down. Like I said, I can still mow with the issues the carburetor is having, but it's using a lot more gas than normal, and I don't have a lot of power when I'm climbing the hills. So it's been a few weeks since that last shot. It did only take a few days for the new carburetor to show up, but I waited till I needed to mow again before replacing this carburetor. As you can see, it's an unbranded generic carburetor from overseas, so you can expect it to be very inexpensive, but it should do the job. The only thing we need to do now is remove the old carburetor so we can compare it to the new one so we know it's going to work. Unfortunately, you just can't slide the old carburetor off the studs with the linkages still attached. So instead, I'm going to replace both nuts and jam the two of them against each other so we can remove the stud closer to the fuel line. You could remove both studs, but one should work out fine. With the one gone, we can then tilt the carburetor and work it off the stud.
And with the old one off the engine, we can now compare them from all sides. And it looks like all the important parts match up, like the fuel port and the levers on top of the carburetor. So we can now install the new one. I did have to remove the plastic bushing off the throttle lever from the old one so we can put it on the new one. Another reason why this engine would only run on full choke is that there's a blockage in the carburetor or the fuel jet. Unfortunately, this problem actually started last year when I was making my video on clearing leaves with a riding mower. Now off camera, I removed the carburetor, cleaned it, and cleared the jet, but it still wasn't working like it was supposed to. So the next step is to replace it. Now you could buy an OEM carburetor, but it's over 10 times the cost of a generic one, so it just makes sense to order the cheaper one. I will not be throwing the original one away, I'm just going to store it till I can look at it again and find out what the actual problem is. And now that the carburetor is back on the engine, I've already checked the engine oil, so now I need to add some more gas so I can mow this area yet again. And then we'll start it up and see if we can move the choke lever into the run position and maybe even into the idle position. So it started in the choke position and stayed running in the run position and it even idled for us. That means we fixed the problem, now we should have full power from the engine and won't be wasting gas mowing in the full choke position. Now if it was still doing the same problem, I would check the fuel line for any issues. Ethanol gas could cause the inner part of the fuel line to swell and reduce the fuel flow from the tank and after that I would then check the gas cap for a venting problem. So my question is, would you have tried to fix the carburetor again, or would you have just replaced it like I did? Personally, whatever gets the job done. If I have to use an overseas carburetor for the time being to I fix the original one, that's the choice I'm going to go with. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask me any questions, and I hope to see you in the next video.